In this video, I will solve for the pH of a 0.125 mole per liter nitrous acid solution. So HNO2 is a acid and you will have to look up the Ka for this acid in your Chemistry 30 data booklet. The value for this acid is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4. So now we can set up an ice table, figure out what strategy we want to use, and then fill it in and solve for our pH. So we have our HNO2 acid. It is going to react with the water solvent, transfer a proton to the water, and we will get hydronium. and NO2 minus as the conjugate base of our acid. And we'll set up our ice table. What do we have at the beginning or initially? What is the change and what is the concentration at the end? Instead of writing the units throughout my ice table, I will make sure I put in mole per liter concentrations throughout the ice table. So our initial concentration of our acid is 0.125 moles per liter. Water, I'm not going to fill in because we don't include water in an aqueous system in equilibrium calculations and we would assume we'd have no product at the beginning. Uh, and that's all I have to start with. So this is one of the two types of questions that we have an I and a Ka and that's where we have to use an X to solve this. It is not an I and an E style question. We have one unit of change for all of our chemicals. So I'm going to put one unit of X change. So our reactant will go down. We'll end up with one, two, five moles per liter minus our change. We will make X hydronium. And we will make X nitrous, nitrate, nitrite, sorry. So now I have an algebraic answer and I can solve for X using an equilibrium law expression. So Ka is going to equal the concentration of hydronium times our concentration of nitrite. Divided by our concentration of our weak acid. no water included. Now to solve this, I'm going to end up with a quadratic, but in chemistry 30, you will always be able to use a assumption. The test you should do is that Ka is less than 1 1,000th. 1, and that is the case when you have a number minus x, that x is going to be so small that a number minus x will be approximately that, just that number. So we have that here. I'm going to not use the minus x and just use an approximated N concentration of 0.125. We have 5.6 times 10 to the negative 4 equals when have x and x as our two concentrations. So I'll simplify that to x squared divided by the final concentration of HNO2. So next I'll cross multiply. I'm going to get x squared. is going to equal our other cross and our other cross comes out to 0 0.00007. So our X, which is going to equal our concentration of hydronium, be 
0 0.00837. Moles per liter. Now I'm not done the question, so I want to carry extra significant figures, and you would extra figures, and you would actually make sure you want to keep all the digits in your calculator. So we can finally solve this. Now that we know the hydronium concentration, we can solve for the pH. So that's going to be the negative log of our hydronium concentration. We have to make sure that concentration is in moles per liter. and you get 2.08. I'm at the end, so I'm using the proper significant digits or significant figures. Our original information had a minimum of two sig figs. We had two sig figs in the Ka. We had three in the initial concentration, so I'm gonna end with two sig figs, but when you take a log calculation, the sig minimum sig figs turn into the amount of decimal places. Hence, two sig figs, two decimal places. So we've solved for the pH of this solution.